Welcome to this episode of MoCap TV. In this episode, we will discuss Reese Across America, Encampment, the Wing website, and much more. MoCap TV starts now. Alright everybody, I need a go no go for MoCap TV news broadcast. Alright everybody, I need a go no go for MoCap TV news broadcast. Audio. Go audio. Seven. Video. Check. Six. Live stream. No worries, mate. Five. Anchor check. Four. Where's our anchor? <laughs> Three. Two. You're watching the MoCap TV News Network. One. You're watching MoCap TV, a news magazine for the members of Missouri Wing. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brad Sanker. <coughs> Most kids are happy spending their holiday break at home playing video games or enjoying the snow that was dropped across most of the state. 38 cadets and one senior member from Missouri are spending their break in Kansas at the 2012 Winter Encampment. The cadets arrived early on 26 December eager to dive into the intensive schedule planned for them. In addition to the basic cadets in attendance, the encampment is also host to two advanced training schools, one focused on honor guard and the other on emergency services. The cadets enjoyed orientation of the KC-135 refueling aircraft and the Black Hawk helicopters. Cadets also participated in required training to include Air Force careers, physical fitness, and other CAP and Air Force specific curriculum. In an interview with Major Crockett, the cadet commander for the encampment, he said, in, in the short amount of time that your cadets have been here, they have learned so many things, and it's only the first full day. I am very excited to see what else they are going to achieve at this encampment and in years to come. Photos and video from the encampment can be found on the Kansas Wing website, Facebook, and through YouTube. Links to the site are available on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com backslash mocap TV and on the Wing website. <coughs> Missouri Wing unveiled a new website to better support the members. In addition to the public site, which shares news and information, the site also features a new restricted application for members only. This new module, known as the Wing Information Management System, or WIMS, is a group permission-based system that provides restricted applications for supporting the missions of CAP. Some examples of the restricted features include emergency services and operations resources, communication rosters and online forms, a commander's corner with links to reports, mailing lists, file sharing, inspection schedules, and more. The site is now online for members to use. Members must create a new profile for the site to access the restricted modules. For assistance, please email the IT department at it.mowg.cap.gov. The annual asset inventory started on 1 January and hopefully your unit has already started identifying all accountable assets assigned. This is a critical program and requires all members assistance to ensure its success. The wing commander has set a deadline of 31 January for units to complete the inventory. Commanders, supply and communications officers are asked to physically touch and see each item for their inventory. It is also encouraged that you take a picture of each asset and identifiable markings to ensure 100% tracking. Instructions for inventory are available in eServices on the ORMS module and Missouri Wing has provided a short video clip to walk you through the online process in ORMS. 
Finally, if you need assistance with your inventory, do not hesitate to contact the appropriate wing staff members. For more information, visit the Logistics and Communications page on the Missouri Wing website. This is the time of year for submitting applications for the National Cadet Special Activities. This year, there are 33 different activities listed that take place throughout the summer. There are also two events that occur in February. Applications are open through 15 January. As a reminder, units must approve applications in order for the wing to see them. Members will be notified of selection on March 15th and have until April 15th to pay for the activity. If you have questions about special activities, please visit the Special Activities website at www.ncsas.com or contact Technical Flight Officer Adam Dabach at cp at mowing.cap.gov. The Wing Commander has selected the 2013 Encampment Commander. Major John Burroughs, the Group 1 Commander, has agreed to fill the role and will work closely with Cadet Programs team to ensure the cadets receive an excellent program using the Cadet Training Group model. The application process will be announced soon. In the meantime, cadets interested in being on staff should submit their application using the CAP Form 31 and a resume to ctg at mowingcap.org. Dates and locations for the event are still being reviewed. <laughs> Members across the wing participated in Reefs Across America on December 15th. The event, held nationwide and in select locations around the world, takes place on the second Saturday of December. We are gathered here today at this memorial site and memorial sites all across America to remember that we are one nation with one flag. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people, many races, from many walks of life. The freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying here around us and in cemeteries throughout the nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom and without fear. This event, now in the 20th year, is hosted by Reese Across America organization, with Civil Air Patrol being a participating organization now for several years. Units participated in Branson, Missouri, Kansas City, Winsville, and at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery in St. Louis. Over 500 wreaths were laid in St. Louis, with over 300 guests in attendance. Lieutenant Colonel David Miller, Director of Public Affairs for Missouri Wing and Commander of Spirit Composite Squadron, officiated this year's ceremony. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those that gave their lives to keep us free and we shall not forget you. We shall remember. Many of you here today are veterans of wars and conflicts that America has had to fight to protect the innocent and oppressed. America has always been the first nation to stand up for the freedom of peoples from around the world. Many of you here today have answered that call and served your country well. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms that you enjoy today have not been free, but have come with a cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. I ask you to take a moment today and visit a gravesite. Maybe the gravesite that you're placing a wreath on. Write down information on that person. And when you go back home, research them on the internet. Find out all you can about them. You will find that they were real Americans with families. Mothers and fathers. Brothers and sisters. Sons and daughters. Aunts and uncles.
Thank you for watching MoCap TV. It's an honor to bring these stories to you, the members of Civil Air Patrol. But we can't do this show without your help. If you have a story or an activity that you'd like to see aired here on MoCap TV, please send it to mocaptv at mowg.cap.gov. For MoCap TV, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brad Sanker.